Welcome everyone to DXP Diecast Racing. Hope everyone is doing well out there. I'm gonna show you what's inside this box. Found this box in the garage. I had forgotten I had bought all these cars. Bought these cars back in 2020 during COVID from a gentleman up in Kentucky who dealt in uh, buying storage units. And he had a bunch of whole lot of cars on for sale. And uh, I went up there just to look through his stock because he had hundreds of them and I bought a few. So I thought what we might do is look at the castings, maybe dust them up. I don't know if anything's fast in there. Probably nothing that's super fast in here, but it'll be interesting because they're older models. So let's take a look and see what we have. First up, it's this truck. Now, of course, this one won't race because the wheels, it just won't fit on the track. But it is metal on metal. It's an older truck here. I said all these are loose. This one's, it says 1977 on the bottom, but I don't know when this truck was. It, it might have been a, these cars might be from the 80s to, to early 90s. I'm not sure. But it's a nice looking truck. We probably won't dust him up. But anyway, I thought this was pretty cool back when I found it. This is the Alien. It does have the Ultra Hots on it, but it's got that small, small width right back here on the wheels. It's not very good for the track, but you know what? We're gonna put a little dust on him and see what he can do. He's pretty heavy. Got some good weight to him because he's all metal. Metal bottom, metal top, except for this little plastic piece on top. So anyway, I've never seen one of those go down the track. A green shadow jet. Black walls. Metal and metal. These things are known to have some speed. Not sure if this one will. Not sure if any of these will really, but green shadow jet. Got this 55 with black walls. In fact, I bet all these either have black walls or ultra hots. Now this has got the plastic base. Not very heavy. Still a cool looking little car though. This black Porsche. I don't know how many of these stupid things I have bought. I have yet to find one worth a flip going down the track. But it does have the, uh, the Hot Ones wheels on it. Anyway, like I said, I don't know if any of these are gonna be fast, but there are a lot of older cars. So, we're gonna try them out. There's a 57 Chevy. I don't know if somebody painted that or what, but it's kind of green looking on the bottom. I don't know. Older car. Not, they're, they're beaters. Still, pretty cool. This is nice. Now this car right here is in really pristine condition right here. It's a Porsche 930. Really pretty with the black walls. Metal on metal. He had a brother in there too. This one's not quite as good looking as the other one. Still it's a pretty car. Nice to have for a collection anyway. I got two of those. The old fire eater, black wall fire eater. That's not a fire eater. It's a number five, old number five, excuse me. I'm thinking of the other fire truck casting. Metal, got this big weight right here in the front. Metal bottom, metal top. Let's see what he can do. Another hot ones. Old number one hot wheels car. Not in the best of shape. Thunderbird. We'll try it out though. Looks pretty cool. Got another old hot one, it's 57 Chevy. It's in pretty good shape right here. Shiny bottom, plastic. Got the metal, back before they made them all plastic. Got the metal front up here, engines that all right 
There's another Porsche. Ultra Hots. 959. Little wheels. Metal bottom. Check it out too. There's another 55. Orange, got the flames up on the front. This one does have a metal bottom, metal top. A blown Camaro here. Now these things can be fast. I don't know if this one is. We'll just have to wait and see. The blue Z28, metal bottom. Check it out. Got this little guy right here, this little T-Bird. Black walls, metal bottom. Like I said, I don't know if any of these are gonna be fast. I, I, I've said that several times, but I really don't. I don't know if any of these things gonna have any speed or not. Another 57 with the hot ones, the metal. Now this one's got plastic base too, but we'll see. And last car. This is Chevy Citation. Seen better days. Of course, if you see a Citation now, I bet it's seen better days. But anyway, metal bottom, metal top. We'll check it out. So I think we got, let's see, 16 cars maybe? So we may have a decent race. Let's put a little dust on these old cars and see what they can do. All right, we got all the cars dusted up. They're ready to go. Now I would show you how good the wheel spin was, but there wasn't any good wheel spin. Like I said, all these came out of a storage unit. They're beater cars, they're not in the best shape. I don't think we're gonna find any speed in any of them, but you never know. So anyway, this is one of those videos that will show you that not every purchase is good, <laughs> but we're going to take the 57 Chevy here, the old hot ones, and we're going to put it against the shutter jet. This is one of those purchases that I probably would not have made. Well, I'll take that back. I would not have made now. I'm a lot more uh, picky about what I buy, but back then, two years ago, I was just trying to buy some cool cars. Let's see if we got anything. Ready, set, go. Uh, Shadow Jet 2325 to a 2695. That's a one and done. Kind of what I thought. Nice car. Not going to get it done. Shadow Jet. We'll move on. May have a lot of these like that. Got this 55 right here. We'll put him up against his Porsche. Put the Porsche over here in lane two. Put this orange 55. These are all a bunch of cars like I had back when I was uh, young. Some of them anyway. So kind of need to run these vintage cars. Ready, set, go. A little bit closer of a race. 2323 to a 2368. Let me run that one back just for the fun of it. Let's see, 45 thousandths. 45 thousandths. Put the 55 over here. And put the Porsche over here in lane one. Ready, set, go. Pretty neat seeing these cars going on the track anyway. These older ones, 2347 to a 2373. Porsche is gonna take that one. I mean, these cars, a lot of times you don't see these racing unless they're modified. And that's probably what will happen with uh, a lot of these anyway. Let's put these two Porsches up against each other. 930, 911. I can't tell you how many of these 911s that I have purchased these hot ones, black 911s, and I can't find a fast one. I've given up. Given up on them. Ready, set, go. 
and that is why just not very good to me 2306 to a 2454 one and done for the pretty red porsche these things right here now i know this one's kind of beat up but i just can't find anything really fast with these i know some people find them fast but whew, i can't do it no luck this alien this one right here might have been the uh, best wheel spin out of all of them that i did put him up against his 57 chevy and i know this alien is not going to be fast just because it's got those small wheels in the back and it may be the newest car out of the bunch ready set go oh yeah that alien slow real slow 2289 to a 2911. That alien is not going to get it done. Not a bad time for this one. One and done. So this may not be the longest video ever, but that's all right. Blown Camaro. Going against this 57. It's seen a lot better days. So I'm going to put the 57 over here in lane one. The Blown Camaro over here in lane two. I don't think I've ever tested a blue blown Camaro. I got several of them. Just gotta do them. Gotta work them and get them into the mix. Ready, set, go. A little bit better race than I thought. 23.88 to a 24.16. Blue Camaro's not super fast. So we got what, 28 thousandths? 28 thousandths on the blue Camaro. Not in best shape. Still kind of neat you know finding a bunch of these old cars a lot of people find them and show you all the real fast ones even i do that but what about this box of junkers that may not have anything ready set go Ooh, closer race 2360 to 2365 one camaro getting it done right there not bad for the old Old beat up black walls car. So, kind of surprising. Got this one right here. This may be the lightest car of the bunch. This is not very heavy. It's 55 versus the Citation. Oh, Citation. Put the Citation over here in lane one. And 55 in lane two. Ready, set, go. Citation got him all the way down. 2310 to a 2427. Yeah, well, one and done. This car is just so light. I mean, really light. Citation, baby. Everybody likes those cars. <laughs> Not. Uh, this one right here, maybe the heaviest one of the bunch. Oh, number five. And we'll put him up against this Thunderbird. The Thunderbird up here in lane one. You know, this may be the first time I've raced a Thunderbird down this track. I've never put a Thunderbird on here. Got a bunch of old 50s cars in there. But I just haven't raced them. Ready, set, go. Whoa, look at that Thunderbird. Wow. 2297 to a 2308. Wow. Surprising. 11 thousandths. 11 thousandths by the Thunderbird. Wow. All right. Let's swap them up. Put the old fire engine over here. Oh, Thunderbird. Maybe I've been missing out on all these Thunderbirds. Ready, set, go. Thunderbird got him. Got him again. Got him by 12 thousandths that time. Good run by the Thunderbird. Wow. Old T-Bird right there. Not a bad run for you, but not good enough. All right. I got this newer Thunderbird right here, Hot Ones. We'll put him up against the second red Porsche. We'll put the red Porsche over here in lane one. We'll put the old Thunderbird stalker over here in lane two. Let's see what happens. Ready, set, go. Whoa, Thunderbird Stalker got him. 
2364 to a 2374. Got in my 10,000s. Wow. Thunderbird Stalker. Yeah, these cars will probably end up being mods later on. They could be mods, I guess, I guess should say. Some people like to sit them on the uh, shelf. And I don't really have a shelf to sit them on. I just kind of pack them away. Ready, set, go. So, nice to have for a collection, I suppose. 2305 to 2355. Wow. Picked up a lot of speed right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I wish I had a better one of these. Better shape. But I do not. That I know of. We'll put Shadow Jet versus the Porsche. The Porsche over here in lane one. Shadow Jet in lane two. I used to chase those Shadow Jets quite a bit. Ready, set, go. Still have a few of them. I haven't opened. 2285 to 2329. 15, let's see, that'd be, what, 45? All right, 44, 45, 44, 44,000. These shadow jets were pretty fast. I first saw them. Didn't really know about that casting really until I saw Big Pop, some of Big Poppies. I saw how well they were doing. And I bought a bunch of them. I still got some up here in the cases. Ready, set, go. Woo, we came back on him. 2301 to a 2314. Not a big enough beat though. Porsche is gonna move on because that first run. Hmm, not bad. Not bad for black walls. Put this Porsche up against this 57 Chevy. Yeah, Big Poppy's had a bunch of those Shadow Jets. I bought a bunch of them. Some of them pretty quick. I think one of my fastest one though was on a five pack. Ready, set, go. 57 Chevy 2262 to a 2303. Wow, 50 cent Chevy. Showing up a little bit. What's that, a 38? 38, 38 and 3, 41, 41 thousandths. What a 57 Chevy. Now there's a casting. Got a, quite a few 57s. And I just have not run them yet. Got a bunch of open ones inside the house. And they do have potential to get in the cases ready. Set, go. 57 Chevy right around in 2289 to a 2306. 57 Chevy, getting them both on. Nice run by the little black wall Porsche. Get you right here, you'll go against the other Porsche. There you go. Blown Camaro, Chevy Citation. Oh me, the Citation. Tell you some stories. Had a buddy of mine had a dad. His dad had a Citation. We rode to Nashville in it one day. Woo! Come up fast. Ready, set, go. His daddy had a lead foot. Twenty-two seventy-seven to a twenty-three twenty-seven. The Citation gets the Camaro. Wow. Let's see. That's twenty-three and twenty-seven fifty. Wow. That's almost a one and done. But we're gonna run them again just cause. They're old, they ain't been on the track. They were on the track probably one day back in the 80s. And they ain't been on the track since. Citation up by 50 thou. Ready, set, go. Whoa, Citation kicked in another gear. 2278 to a 23, what was that, 2371? Wow. Citation waking up a little bit. Blown Camaro, not doing too well. All right, last race will be Thunderbirds. 80s version in lane one, and the 50s version in lane two. Pretty cool. Ready, set, go. Look at the old one go, 2285 to a 2335. 
Wow, is that 50,000? That's 50,000 too, isn't it? Sure is. Pretty car cool right there. I need to get another one of these, but man, the oldie right here. The old black walls. Old black walls. Showing out right now. Ready, set, go. Uh-oh, close the race, but he still got him. 2303 to a 2301, wow. Yeah, this guy must have, when you get runs like that, you must have an axle that's moving in there where it's rubbing on one of the sides. It looks like, let's see that right there. Looks like he's probably rubbing a little bit, sliding a little bit in that casing. That's the only reason why you get a run so crazy like that. All right, the Porsche versus the 57. I'm gonna put the seven over here in lane one. The Porsche in lane two, the Ultra Hots going against the Hot Ones. Ready, set, go. Decent race, 2283 to a 2329. 17 and 29. Is that a 46 thousands beat? This guy right here, swap him up. 57 Chevy. I like it. He's a, he might have been one of the best looking ones in the bunch. He would, did not really have too much of a scratch on him. Real pretty. Pretty car. Ready, set, go. Ooh, 2295 to a 2336. It got him again. Sounds like somebody was bottoming out a little bit. Going down the track. This guy right here. I don't know if it was this one or it might have been him. Yeah, I got them big, these are big plastic pieces here. Let's see that. See those big plastic pieces right here? Go down the track. You ain't got a whole lot of clearance right there on either side. I think you might have drug him down a little bit. He may be actually be a little bit faster than that. I'm going to file him down. File those down a little bit right there. And so we can't get a little bit more clearance. Make it a little bit more speed. Thunderbird. Citation. I did not think the citation was going to be in there. Like I said, none of these wheels really did really well with graphite, but heck, who knows? Ready, set, go. Ooh, the Thunderbird. I really thought the citation had him. Got him about 14 thousandths. So the Thunderbird right here. Wow, maybe I need to be investing in some Thunderbirds. I tell you, that's not a casting that I have a lot of them of. Like I said, this is probably the first one ever that's going down this track, and it's an old one. Metal on metal. Ready, set, go. Oh, citation got him. Did he get him by enough, though? No, sir. Did not. The Thunderbird right here. Surprising black wall Thunderbird. I wonder what year that is. I know it says 77 on there, but I don't, that's not a 70s. That's an 80s probably. With that hot pink look and that yellow. No, that's an 80s car. Right there. So here we go. Thunderbird 57 Chevy. Hey, the 50s right here. Put the Thunderbird in lane one, 57 Chevy in lane two. Did not expect to see this here for the finals. Kind of thought that blown Camaro might get in there. Ready, set, go. Good race. Real good race. 2272 to a 2280. Wow. Eight thousandths. Right, the 57 Chevy. I may have to do a 57 Chevy race. That may be something that I have to do here. A little too long. Who knows? I got a, quite a few I've been there. I don't know if I got 16 or not. Maybe. Maybe. Ready, set, go. Ah, oh, the Thunderbird went around him. Ooh, that's 7,000 too, isn't it? Look at that. 22, 75, 20. Oh, let's race them again. 7,000, 7,000. Woo! 57 Chevy and the Thunderbird dueling it out. Now I'm really curious to see who's going to win. 
right there. Two seven thousands beat. Let's do it again. Ready, set, go. Ah, oh, 57 Chevy got a different gear right there. 2265 to 2294. Wow. Let's see, that would be 29 thousandths. This guy right here, the thing that with these, see, they got so much play, they can kind of get side to side over here. And this guy over here is pretty good. 29 thousandths. Let's swap them up. 57 Chevy came alive right there. Can the Thunderbird do it? It's got a, got a ways to go right here. Ready, set, go. Got around him, though. Let's see. That's 18, 25 thousandths. Wow. Bad run, 25 thousandths, but the biggest beat goes to the 57 Chevy right there for that first one. Wow, it's close racing though. Let's see what he weighs. Just to see. See if he can get in up here. I knew that was gonna happen. 57 Chevy weighs in at 46.24. 46, he's gotta beat a shadow jet just to get into the case. The gatekeeper is this purple shadow jet. You never know. Maybe you can get in. Two, got a purple car and a blue car right here. Shadow Jet versus the 57 Chevy. To get, can he beat the gatekeeper? Ready, set, go. 2247 to a 2267. Got him by 20 thousandths. Shadow Jet. Check him out again. Swap lanes, 20 thousandths. Uh, 57 Chevy. Oh, I'm gonna have to go catch him now. 57 Chevy riding the rails down here. Sorry about that. Usually does not happen, but you know, sometimes it does. Ready, set, go. Ah, uh, Shadow Jet shut the door on him. Ah, uh, it's kind of what I figured. 2254 to 2302. All right. Eh, nobody's going to get in the case, but it's a lot closer than I thought. A bunch of beater cars. Wow. Pretty good. Been in the storage unit for so long. That's a pretty car, though. That one don't really have a mark on him. May do a 57 Chevy race here one day. Put him in it just to see. He's got one little tiny flake on that. But anyway, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Bunch of old cars you can find out. And find them in places and maybe find some speed in them. Maybe you won't. Who knows? But, a buddy of mine by the name of Mr. Brandon sent me something a couple weeks back. Check that out. Fast and Furious, furious car. Look at that bad boy right there. Plymouth Roadrunner. Now, you've seen some of these on other channels. A lot of guys have got these things in their cases they got some speed. I've opened this thing up already. Pull it out here. I've already worked the wheels slightly. Just a little bit. Let's see what this thing weighs. I don't even know. A lot of guys have got some real fast ones of these, so... This thing comes in at 56.82. 56.82. So, let's, uh... Let's just go ahead and see what happens here with the gatekeeper. <clears throat> I don't know how fast this thing is. Gatekeeper to the top 48 is this guy right here, this hot one's so uh so air. CX, I think it's CX4, isn't it? Let's we'll see if he can get in right here. If he can get past this guy. Ready, set. Go. Wow, he does. 2201. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Wow, that's fast. 2251 right there. That's a one and done. Wow. Dude, that is really, really fast. 2201. I wonder if he can maintain that. Hmm. 
Here, we'll just put you over here on this side, going that fast. Got a uh, number 43 car right here. It's my fastest 43 car. Y'all probably saw that a few weeks ago. We're gonna put him over here in lane one and put him over here in lane two. Ready, set, go. I am on the drop. 22.33 to 22.40. That's <laughs> got him my seven thousandths. Wow. 22.01. That's, that's a crazy time right there. Got him by seven. Let's see if he can hold on to it. it. Might have been just a glory run. Who knows? Find out. Ready. Set. Go. Oh, we went right around him too. 22.05. Wow. Man, that's a fast little car. That is a fast car right there. Whoo. All right. Well, let's move him up a little bit. You got to fight your way up here. Have a little fun here. It's right here, Mr. Sparkles. See if you can get past this big, heavy, big, heavy, funny car right here. Of course, you're pretty heavy too. Ready, set, go. Did it. 22.19 to a 22.31. Getting a 12. 12 thousands right there. 12 thousands over here on the bonus. I thought he, I thought he might get in somewhere. I didn't know he was going to be this fast. That's crazy. Ready, set, go. Right around him with the nose. 22.12 to a 22.29. 17 thousands right there. Pretty consistent win. This guy's going to move on up. All right. Well, we'll put you up here against. This is my fastest number 44. We'll run you up here against this guy. See what happens. Yeah, we just raced all these NASCARs. So... Hey, a lot of them got in. Ready, set, go. He's coming back on him. 22.12 to a 22.26. Got him out 14 thousandths. 14 thousandths in the first run. We'll swap them up. Wow. These fast and furious cars are no joke. Now, these are 155 scale, but they fit the track. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Ready, set. Go. Went right around him on that side. He loves that side. 2204 to 2212. He loves this lane two over here for some reason. Can't even go. That. All right. Well, we'll move you on up. Move you on up. Oh, let's. Solaire. Got this Solaire. This is the Solaire that I sent to uh, Scale Racing Channel. For their race. I don't know what he'll do against this guy. But uh, he didn't fare too as well as I'd hoped. He did well, but not as well as I'd hoped. I don't know what happened to him, but check this out. He'll, he should do a pretty good time. Ready, set, go. 22.33 to a 22.26. 22 May not beat that guy. Was that nine thousandths? Nine thousandths. But he's pretty fast. Anyway, for a plastic bottom car, that's probably in the 40, 40 range. Pretty fast. Right at, I guess he's right at round 40. Ready, set, go. Not bad, 2215, 2205. Wow, all right. Get serious up here then. Evil three. Yo, evil three. Hopefully I'll have a few more of these evil threes coming in soon. That's what my plan is anyway. Race him up against the Roadrunner. Ready, set, go. Oh, he had him all the way down. 
Well, that's the 2202 to a 2230, 28,000s. Wow, not a good run by this guy. He is pretty quick when he wants to be. He has he has a lot of glory runs. He'll run pretty consistent, and all of a sudden he'll pull off this crazy run. That mega graphics, ready, set, go. He ain't gonna get him. Man, 2204 to 2217, pretty consistent. Pretty consistent over here in this lane. He really likes it. All right. Well, you're in the top eight. You have to fight through all these guys here. I got a 442. Don't know. These guys up here need to all have a little bit of redust on them. So. Who knows? Ready, set, go. 442, not gonna catch him. 2211 to a 2227, 16,000s. These guys, when they're when they're all been redusted up, these guys up here will run a lot faster up on the top. They just have not had a, a redusting lately. They will though, pretty soon. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, he went right around him. 22. Man, he's consistent in that lane. He is consistent in that lane. All right. Well, at least it hit my foot before it hit the ground. Oh, me. That's what you don't want to do. Don't drop your cars. At least it hit my foot, though. He'll be all right. He'll live. Bubble Gunner. Oh, Bubble Gunner's got some weight. Bubble Gunner's got a little weight. I don't know if he'll beat this guy, though. Ready, set, go. Nope. Got him by eight thousandths. Eight thousandths. Oh, Bubble Gunner. Got a little work to do. This guy over here is running pretty consistent in the 22s over here. Low 22s, ready, set, go. Man, he just gets on it straight away and flies. 2200. Wow, he is smoking. All right, well, next car, number five, laser wheels. I really did not expect this, but it's kind of wanting to focus on uh, the old vintage cars, but you know, heck. Here we go. Laser wheels versus the Roadrunner. Ready, set, go. Woo, laser wheels. Almost got him. Got him. Only got a 2000s beat right there. Are we fixing up? I gotta straighten my bag up. Man, all that heavy stuff hitting that thing. 2000s beat. Swap them up. Put the old laser wheels over here in lane one. This guy runs a lot better in this lane right here. Just a hair faster. Ready, set, go. Close race. Oh, not close enough though. Two thousandths again. Wow. All right. Well, this is my fastest Murata that I own right now. And don't know how fast it is. Don't know how fast it is, really. It can have good runs, it can have bad runs, but when it has a good run, they're crazy good. Ready, set, go. Mm, keep it up with him, but not enough. Man, all these 22, 26s, all these, all these cars that you're seeing now, do not run 2226s. They are they are in a bad shape, needing some rework. Fifteen thousandths. Yeah, these cars are in bad shape. They're in, well, I'm gonna say in bad shape. They just need to be reworked. They they haven't been reworked in probably two years or so. I would imagine. I don't know. Well, maybe they, I reworked them a year and a half ago. Ready, set, go. <laughs> But they have potential to run a lot faster. 
but man, that guy's so consistent. That's the key, being consistent. All right, here's my 442 right here, third fastest car. Got a feeling we may see a number, a new number one. And all these cars that I'm running have run in the 21s. Like this guy right here, he's pulled 21 times. Uh, several of them that you've seen already have. Ready, set, go. Oh, he got him that time. Mm, 22.07 to a 22.12. Got him by five thousandths. But they're just not running as fast as they used to. So, I'm going to do a recal here. I've said this on several videos. Say it again in the winter. 442 up by five thousandths. Is he going to be the stopper? Ready, set, go. Ooh. Yes, he is. 2210 to a 2212. So, the biggest beat in the first run goes to the 442. So... This guy right here ends up number four. Pretty fast right there. Pretty fast. He'll end up right here in this spot. We'll move everybody down. Thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you again, Mr. Brandon. Got a fast car right here. Real fast car. Don't forget these over here. All the old vintage cars. A lot of fun to find out in the garage sales, out in the... Uh, Yard sales, the flea markets, you may find some speed in them. I find a lot of speed in some of these. But this batch right here just didn't quite have enough. But they're still fun to look at. And, like I said, you could always mod some. Y'all have a great day. DXP Diecast Racing. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, if you wish. And we'll see you on the track. God bless each and every one of you.